YouTube, what's going on? Fight fans from all over the world, what's going on? Welcome back to Boxing with Chris. It's me, your host. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because I'm back. And you know when I'm back, I'm back to talk that boxing, talking that tail of the tape, heavyweight undisputed supremacy between Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury. Today, we discuss Alexander Usyk, the unified heavyweight champion of the world, what he needs to become undisputed champion this upcoming Saturday against Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. We know Alexander Usyk, who stands at 21-0 with 14 wins coming by way of knockout, 6-3 with a 78-inch reach. Last seen in action, August 26th of 2023, where he got his first stoppage in the heavyweight division over Daniel Dubois. The fight did come with some controversy where some people felt like that shot was legal. If you know, you know what shot I'm talking about is this shot right here. You guys let me know, was it legal or was it not? But right now, we got to jump into this tail of the tape and what Alexander Usyk needs to be Tyson Fury and become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world since Lennox Lewis. For Alexander Usyk, the footwork is key because he does not have a lot of the physical attributes. They are not on his side. He is down about four to five inches in height, four to five to six inches in reach, and he is also the older man. So a lot of these things are not on his side. So the footwork has to be the key, the jab, and protect the body. We know Tyson Fury is coming for the body. It has been said and it's been seen. It has been proven that Alexander Usyk does not like the body, does not have the most durable body and cannot really take a lot of body shots. So he has to stay away from that. Move your head because being a southpaw fighting an orthodox fighter, especially being bigger, that right hand is gonna be there all night. So move your head off the line. Watch out for the counter right. And being the fact that a lot of the physical attributes aren't on his side, I wouldn't engage, I wouldn't encourage Alexander Usyk to trade with Tyson Fury. So he has to stick and move, use a lot of that footwork, pivoting in and out. Don't stay off the ropes. Don't try to fight on the inside and make Tyson Fury think. We know when Tyson Fury thinks too much, that's when he gets beat. That's when he gets caught. So as for Alexander Usyk, you gotta beat him to the punch make him think make him doubt himself make him think every move and try to beat him to the punch but the only thing that tyson that alexander usik really has to his advantage obviously is the footwork and the foot speed everything else really does favor tyson fury but it's interesting because alexander usik can really only win this fight one way by putting on an absolute master class in the boxing ring so let's see what he does let's see if he can get it done do you guys think he gotta get it done please let me know in the comment section below it's your boy chris and you know what i do i keep it a more than 92 and i'm gonna see y'all soon peace